what I'd say is, look, first of all, we haven't ignored it. I, I got in as Prime Minister and immediately took a whole series of steps on immigration that have made a difference. The closing of the bogus colleges, the cap of 20,000 on economic migration. Uh, we've cut family reunion by a third. We reduced the number of student visas because of the bogus colleges. We took a lot of steps that made a difference. But I think you, you, you make a, an important point in two regards. One is I have been in a coalition government with a group of people who are not knowingly enthusiastic about controlling immigration. For instance, the changes we've just made uh, which are important, we're saying we're going to make it more difficult to get a driving license, to get a bank account, to get a council house, to have a privately rented accommodation, uh, more difficult to make those things. That was like pulling a tooth. I got it through uh, and it's coming into place, but for instance, the checks I want private landlords to make, they start in the next couple of weeks, they start actually in the West Midlands. I want them to be all over the country tomorrow. But I'm in a coalition and sometimes that can be frustrating, trying to bring the brethren who care less about these issues along with you. So that will make a big change. Uh, on the issue of Andrew Mitchell, I mean, let me be clear, you know, it is never right to be abusive or rude to a police officer. I think that's extremely important. But look, we've had a court case now. That's how we do things in this country. The judges made very clear his verdict. And I think everyone should accept that verdict and move on.